the city. It's that there's something funny about corners. Where two walls meet, there's never quite enough space to cram yourself into and hide. And I guess that's what it's like to be one of the loners. Since it's kind of my thing, I could sit and watch the world turn all day long. I could watch happy couples do whatever they do on Valentine's Day. I wish someone would take the time to count up the corners on planet Earth and see how many are occupied, just to see what they'd say. And I like to call us observers and onlookers, experts of being kind of out of the loop, but still informed. Where others pick petals off roses and throw them away. We pick up dead flora and rip them to shreds by the light of the moon, which is kind of out of the norm. But if there's one thing I know about sitting, it's that there's something lonely about corners. There's always a breeze cold enough to send shivers up your pale spine. Always an empty pocket of air in your palm, longing to be filled with warm fingers. Since it's kind of my thing, I could watch all the lucky ones laugh all day long, embracing whoever and saying stupid lovey-dovey things, buying up innocent little daffodils and ripping away their limbs, while we observers compare them to dastardly kings. Maybe we're a little hypocritical and deranged, but we're wise and experienced in every way, except for the ways of love. We could strike fear into the heart of a therapist, but we couldn't send a smile a loved one's way. And if there's anything I know about sitting, it's that there's something a little ironic about corners. We hide our faces from the only ones that want to see them. We long for the ones we can never have, ones that walk freely without the need to guard their backs. Since it's kind of my thing, I could play matchmaker for weeks on end, drawing little couples in the air with fingertips cold enough to turn light blue, painting myself dastardly colors, imitating the chameleon, just to see if I could do as all the other people do. You can call us starving victims of society, but then you'd be bluffing, and you'd be an idiot too. All we want, backed into our corners, shuffling our feet in stardust and watching the legs of passers-by, is just to have someone complete us, like you. Woo!